They are the greatest generation, the aging baby boomers, and now they are our, our most vulnerable from COVID-19. Ursula Perry explains why the geriatric medical community is concerned, but also confident that older Americans will weather this better than the rest of us. Today's nursing homes and independent living centers are filled with folks under a virtual lockdown. Even their doctors are restricted. When I came in, uh, they took me off to the side and I washed my hands. They had me sign it in. They took my temperature. I filled out some questions, made sure that, um, you know, I didn't have any signs or symptoms or exposures. And then they gave me a mask and some gloves. Dr. Michael Lichtenstein is a geriatric specialist at UT Health. He says he has not yet treated an elderly patient with coronavirus in San Antonio. And that's a good sign. So, you know, the nurses, the nurses' aides, um, the you know people who pass the medication, they're coming in and out. Um, and there's always a risk that they could bring the infection in. The sort of quarantine currently mandated by city, state, and federal government might seem extreme, except for one thing. This greatest generation has endured the hardships of world wars and another health disaster, the polio epidemic of the late 40s and early 50s. And so having survived that, I think people feel like, well, we're going to survive this too. The polio epidemic and COVID-19 pandemic actually share some things in common. People were required to separate from each other. As well, there was a need for heavy-duty medical equipment and a need for a lot of patience and trust in what the government was doing to calm things down. It also asked us to reset our priorities, something that this pandemic will do as well. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.